there are lots of treatment options that are potentially open to you. If you want nothing done about it, that's okay. Perhaps you just wanted to know that in the future, at another time, when it's the right time for you, you can have something done. Perhaps you're somebody who has acquired a squint and has double vision. And in that scenario, you're probably much more keen to pursue treatment. Many people who have a, a divergent squint, or an exotropia, have the option of considering surgery. The surgery is usually very straightforward. It takes about an hour under general anaesthetic. So that means you will be asleep. Sometimes it might be that for various technical reasons or things that we can discuss, you might be one of these people who wants to have uh, what we call an adjustment or an adjustable suture after surgery, which means that although m much of the surgery will be done with you, in fact the vast majority of the surgery will be done with you asleep, a little bit of fine tuning may be possible when you're awake if it's needed. Most people tolerate that extremely well and it's really just a question of becoming confident and comfortable with the person who's doing it for you and there'll be lots of time to talk people through it. I do look forward to seeing people who have opted for surgery because it's been a problem for them and seeing the impact and hearing about the impact it's had on their lives. I've had people that I've operated on who have gone ahead and for instance done big things in their life, had major life events, they might have got married and finally they're not putting their eye in a certain position to give the impression the eyes are straight, they're looking at that camera straight on. I have people who come back and say I feel more confident in my daily life, people know who I'm talking to and actually I feel it in myself because it's not the size of the squint, it's not sometimes even what other people say, it's how it makes you feel. And until you've got that problem, I don't think you can necessarily, or unless you've dealt with a lot of people who have this problem, I don't think you can, real, you can sort of estimate the impact it can have on people's lives. So if you're somebody who has a squint, you might have had a divergent squint for a long time, you may have more recently acquired it. I'd be very happy to see you here at Clinica London, where we can thoroughly assess your squint, along with one of our specially trained orthoptists, and then we can discuss where we go from there and how to make you feel better about the alignment of your eyes.